guys, I hope you are all doing well. I am currently up north, northern Minnesota, where it is about 23 degrees today in April <laughs> um, for the quarantine and kind of the shelter in place and all that. So I wanted to share with you guys, I've been up here for three weeks. I will be up here until things um, kind of clear. I am able to work remotely from home. So until I'm expected back in the office, I will stay up here. So. With that being said, I thought this would be a kind of fun take on the situation, um, not to like play it down or anything, but I want to share my my quarantine capsule wardrobe. So um, this is what I've packed. I have bought one item, which I will show you, but this is what I have for right now. Obviously, when the weather changes, I may need to fill some of the gaps, but for right now, I am doing okay. I've never done a capsule wardrobe before. I typically have a pretty large closet, so um, I've done some closet declutters, which I can put up here if you're interested in those um, in the past, but <clears throat> yeah, I've never done a capsule wardrobe, and this is kind of what it is. So we can just start with what I'm wearing. I have this blue quarter zip sweatshirt. It has like pockets. Um, this is from, from Land's End. So this is what one of my sweatshirts, I have another sweatshirt, and I just have a crew neck t-shirt underneath. It's just got a design from college on it so that's that and then I have a pair of jeans that I'm wearing um, like dark skinny jeans <laughs> and yeah so that will be included in what we're showing but let's just go ahead and dive right in so I'm gonna start with what I have folded on the bed in front of me here I have my workout gear so I did bring one kind of set of workout gear so this is my sports bra i have two of these i only packed one it's from she fit i kind of like it was one of those instagram brands but i absolutely love it um if you're looking for a really nice sports bra check this out um so i have that and then i have my t-shirt that's like my you know athletic material and then i have a pair of shorts here that i wear when i work out um when i go for walks i'm typically not wearing the shorts because it's not warm enough but when I do my resistance workouts at home, I wear that. <clears throat> okay, um, I also have another pair of jeans. So I have two pairs of jeans total, the one I'm wearing, the ones in my hands here. And then I also have kind of, let me just grab this pile. This is kind of more of my comfort pile. So I have this bra that I got, I call it like my soft bra. This is from Soma, I will link it down below. I think everybody needs something like this in their life. Like it's really comfortable to wear it offers a little bit of support but like no underwire or anything like that and it's really really soft and comfortable so I usually wear this during the day when I'm working um, because I can <laughs> I have my sleep shirt so I really like the long sleeve sleep shirts from Victoria's Secret this one just has a heart on it um, and this is what I sleep in every night and then I have oh I should stop turning things on the bed oops then I have these pants. Um, these are from Old Navy. These are like a jogger, you know, where it's a little bit um, tighter at the ankle, but they're kind of slouchy. They have a back pocket and two side pockets. I really like these. I have them in this gray material. At home, I have a pair in navy as well, but I just packed this gray one, and that's what I wear uh, most of the time, at, you know, during the day. I bought a pair of leggings because I forgot to pack leggings. Who am I? Um, but I got these off of Amazon and they have a pocket on each side like of your thigh here, which I've never had a pair of leggings like that before and I am convinced they're the best thing ever. So between these and those gray sweatpants, that's kind of what I wear every day for my bottoms. And I also have a pair of these plaid pajama pants, which sometimes I'll wear um, in the evening if I don't want to wear that sleep shirt, you know, I'll wear this instead. So that is kind of everything that I have folded. Those are things I don't hang up. I have a shelf in the closet that I, you know, have those all in stacks. And I have all my tops here in front of me. So with what I have on, but also I have a spaghetti strap tank top, just a cream one that I'm, you know, layering with. Um, I have a white v-neck t-shirt that probably has seen some better days. I should probably just bleach this puppy, but um, yep, I have got that. And then I also have a, another crew neck shirt. I got this in the North Pole in Alaska last summer. I love wearing this um, and I like the color of it and it's just kind of an interesting, you know, interesting thing that I got it about the North Pole. So that's what I have for short sleeves. <clears throat> Moving into long sleeves, I have this gray cowl neck shirt here. I have a, oops, things are falling. Ugh. I have a, 
um, plaid flannel, well, not flannel, yeah, flannel, this sucks, that's the right word, I was thinking, I was getting flannel and fleece mixed up, but this is flannel, um, button down, so this is something that I would pair with, like, a tank top or a t-shirt or, right now, a long sleeve under it. Um, I have two black long sleeves, this one's a turtleneck, this one's just a regular crew neck, um, so I have those. I have two sweaters, um, I have this green one here that I really like. And then I forgot I had this in my car, <laughs> so surprise, um, but I have this Kalanek gray kind of window pane patterned sweater. This is from Amazon. I have two of these. I have it in the black as well. I really like it. Um, and then I have my other kind of sweatshirt. This is my L.L. Bean um, fleece zip. So it's kind of like those North Face ones, just the L.L. Bean version of it. Um, it has a couple of pockets on the side, pocket up here, and yeah, I really really like it so between this and this I'm usually wearing one of these during the day and then I wanted to mention my jacket um, I do have my big puffy parka um, in my car because I kind of just always keep it there because you never know um, it can be a blanket if you need it so that one is my big North Face one but I haven't worn it yet I haven't needed to I have this one from North Face though it's just one of their soft shell kind of jackets it's like an in-between jacket it's really good for fall and spring um, it keeps it pretty warm you can zip it up you can have it unzipped it just looks good um, and then I also have my headband for my ears um, and then my pair of gloves here so for shoes I have my Allbirds these are my workout shoes but also just my all-around tennis shoes these are the tree hugger ones so that means that they're more of the mesh not the heavy wool um, I really really enjoy these and they're machine washable and the insert is replaceable if it kind of gets gross, but these are the tennis shoes I have. Um, these are the boots that I'm wearing the most. These are my Sperry boots. They're kind of like the duck boot pattern, so I'm just going to show you one. Um, they have the rubber bottom here. I really like the black and brown combo. Um, they have the quilted, it's kind of like a nylon material. They have different materials for this upper part of the boot. The laces here are... Um, Done, like they're already tied off you don't actually like do anything because there's a zipper here so you can have them unzipped you can have them zipped up they stay pretty warm um, I would say if you're on like cold concrete for a while though the boot like the bottom doesn't keep you that warm so you know but these are really great for springtime and fall time because you can wear them out in the dust and the dirt and the mud and who cares in the snow so yeah I've been loving those and then my Ugg boots um, I have gray short Ugg boots um, that I love. I don't care what anyone says. I live in Minnesota and now I'm in even northern Minnesota so I need something like this to keep my feet warm. So these are the shoe options I have but I'm making it do um, and it's realizing that I really don't need that much. Um, you know I've been doing laundry weekly and I'm wearing obviously all of these clothes in a rotation but more so because I'm home all the time. Like it's not like we can go out to the bars or like really go anywhere. I'm just wearing sweatshirts and basic t-shirts and long sleeves. So I feel like I packed the right stuff. I'm happy I packed two kind of nicer sweaters just for shits and gigs, you know, for fun. But um, yeah, that is my quarantine capsule wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you guys have been wearing kind of on the regular. I'm sure most of us women are wearing a lot of leggings, PJ pants, things like that. But I would love to know if you have like a certain favorite item you're wearing um, because I know I certainly am loving those gray sweatpants. Those are like my baby right now. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this kind of situation is over soon. We just don't really know at this point. Um, and you know, just hang in there. I hope you are doing well. I hope this could be, you know, eight or nine minutes of kind of a break for you of whatever you're going through. So hang in there and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.